October 5th. I remember today. It's really bright out here. Uh, it's the afternoon because the morning just slipped right by. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm headed to go get the mail. I'm supposed to meet a former student, art student of mine from Mike when I worked at Michael's at her house. But I messaged her this morning a couple of different ways to confirm our meeting and I have not heard back from her. So I'm not sure if I'm doing that or not. I'll let you know. I'll be back. Hey guys, how are you today? It is Friday, October 6th, I think. I know it's Friday. I'm pretty sure it's October 6th. Uh, anyway, this is my Inktober drawing from last night. Um, the prompt was long, and so I didn't know what else to draw. I couldn't think of nothing else except green beans, a green bean plant. It's not the best plant doodle I've ever done, but it'll work. Um... I haven't done today's yet. I will at some point and I'll share it with you guys, hopefully today. Uh, and I am editing the vlog, which will hopefully be up later today. So hopefully by the time you see this, it should already be up on the channel. So I have to actually watch it and make notation of any websites that I mentioned that I would link so that I don't forget anything. So that's all I'm doing this morning, trying to get a few things done. I'm going to go meet a former uh, Michael student um, at her house to um, go over some art things with her and we have family dinner night it's Friday so it's pizza night so I've got to go pick up some pizza on the way home and stuff like that so anyway and I'm donating blood tomorrow at the Red Cross so there'll be that and I'll try to get some footage there that's it for right now I'll be back good morning everybody it is Saturday October what is it the 7th October 5th no 7th 7th the 7th we Seven. don't even know we're off to the Red Cross this morning to donate blood, and then we have a bunch of errands and stuff to do. Yeah. But I get to go get poked first. So does he. Uh, it's going to be fun. All right, we'll be back. done. I got stuck. Donated my blood. Did my good thing for the day. Now I'm going to go home and meet up with the daughter. We're going to go shopping um, and uh, pick up a few things and maybe have some lunch and yeah it's going to be a fun day I think. All right I'll be back. Hey guys how are you today? It is Sunday October 7th, 8th. I think it's the 8th. Uh, it's my week starting today to teach over in my year 2017, so we started doing that. If you don't know what that is, it's a year-long free teaching group. Uh, there are four main teachers, and we each take a week in the month and bring you content, hopefully that inspires you to make art and um, um, do daily art practice and be creative in your life and... Um, uh, all of that stuff. Whether you're a planner person or um, you just um, like to do things with photographs and journaling or there's something for everybody. Anyway, so if you want to join, look below. In the description, it's down there. Uh, anyway, it's been a quiet day here. Uh, generally, after donating blood, my husband and I are like useless for the rest of the weekend it really does zap all the strength out of you and uh, this time is definitely no exception he has actually gone out walking but it's pretty late in the evening and I don't like to get sweaty right before bed and I don't like to go to bed with wet hair so yeah I'll get some extra steps in tomorrow I hope uh, I'll try anyway um, I'll have to make up for it somehow but um, anyway I've spent the day in my office cleaning going through oh, pens and things here that I never use and there's no point in having them in here if I never use them and um, a lot of them have been um, sent to me so by companies so but my daughter 
loves to draw and doodle and she really loves to do that. She doesn't have that many pens and um, she might want to trade out some of what she has for some of these. So I'm going to let her uh, look through the bags and decide what she wants before we do anything else. And uh, I rearranged some things in my office so that um, I have things a little bit more spread out, which is kind of nice because I'm going to be able to find stuff easier. I like that idea. What else did I do? Um, oh, my acrylic pours I did a while back. Are, it's, see, it's late in the evening, so it's, it's, uh, the lighting is bad, but they're all dry. And uh, yeah, they're really cool. So that's the big one. And then I did two little ones, and I think this medium-sized one's going to be part of a series, so I think I'm going to wait to sell it until I have the other ones done. But these other two I think I'm going to try to photograph and put for sale on Etsy. I have to sign them still so they're on my desk, but they're all dry and, and coated and everything. And I started a journal page. So, right here, see? I just started putting scraps on the page, but I, I like the way it looks already. It's, you know, I don't think it needs a lot. It looks pretty good already. So, anyway, I think that's it for right now. We've also gotten the laundry done and... You know, not for us, that's not a, we haven't gotten a lot done. We spent a lot of time on the sofa, uh, binge watching movies and, oh, you know, I have this thing for the UK border force. I don't know what the deal is with me right now, but I start watching the episodes and I can't stop. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so anyway, tomorrow's Monday and uh, I look forward to the week. I think it's going to be a fun one and I've got stuff to do and things to mail out and you know all that stuff so anyway I will talk to you all later I'll be back hey everybody it is Monday Monday afternoon I was gonna say Monday morning it's not Monday morning October uh, 9th I forgot what day it is I think it's the 9th maybe <laughs> anyway it's Monday um, I am out here walking around the house looking around making sure everything looks okay because we just had another little earthquake 4.1 uh, epicenter on the east side of San Jose and uh, I'm just checking on the dog he looks a little scared but he's okay you okay mr. Krabby pants are you all right let's see if you guys can see him there he is he's wagging his tail sort of so I guess it's a good sign Everything looks okay. Oh, he's running, so that means he's fine. He thinks I'm gonna let him out. I'm not letting you out right now. But the house looks okay. So, the kids are okay. Husband, I just talked to him. He's on the, stuck in traffic on the freeway. He's okay. I'm gonna turn on the news, but we're all good. All right, the joys of living in California. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> How are you? It is Tuesday, September 10th, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I never know. And can you hear it's dinging again? All day today I've been either chatting in Zoom with people or Facebook Messenger has been going crazy or something. Or I've been cleaning, honestly, cleaning and purging my art room again. And um, sending some things I no longer need to have in here to other crafty peeps who I know can use them and so those have already been shipped out except for one bag of stuff I'm saving for my daughter. Who knows is she? Uh, so I've been doing that and my shoulders both are sore so I'm gonna stop for the moment because yeah. Um, I did, I have periodically done some work on these two journal pages. I think it's turning out super cute and um, I haven't done any painting on it yet but isn't that just a cute page so far? And these are some more of the um, stickers and things that I got at Target on clearance at the end of last year's fall season when they were changing out their stuff. And these are more of a copper colored sticker like this. So cute, right? The whole pack was $1.98 and there's like a million sheets of them in there. And uh, I'm just creating pages and working on things that I love. I did finally get my husband's softball pants mended. I've had them in my art room for at least two months, I think. 
I keep moving them around. <laughs> I, finally, I finally stopped doing that and actually fixed them. They just needed an elastic around the bottom of the legs. Easy fix. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I delayed so long. So anyway, that's all for right now. It's been kind of a quiet week, which I actually like. Um, but we'll see. And I just remembered just now I was supposed to call the dentist today and reschedule our appointments. I wonder if I call right now if they're still open. I don't know. I guess I better try. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, how are you today? It is Wednesday, October 11th, I think. Let's check and see. I think it's the 11th. Yeah, it's the 11th. Um, it's another strange day. It's just strange day after strange day after strange day. So I'm here at my desk, which is a disaster again, <laughs> working on this journal page. And I shared part of this last night on the internet. And um, I just took a blank page and some scraps that were on my desk and I started gluing them down. And then I took some stickers that I also had here on my desk and I put them on here. And I really kind of like where this is going. I'm going to put some stenciling on here. But first, I want to mask off part of the stencil. This is one of my new, newer stencils. It's called Crazy Moon. And it's in my Etsy shop, available for purchase. Um, the link's in the video description. But I'm going to mask it off so that I can just really kind of just get one. That doesn't mean I'm going to go for a clean print because I'm not, but I just want to do one. I don't want to get any over, over printing, over stenciling. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to get a brush. My, most of my stencils are, you can use a makeup sponge to stencil with them, um, but they're best used with a stenciling brush or, um, um, a palette knife and like texture paste. Um, uh, this one would be okay with a makeup sponge. Some of my stencils are very, have a lot of detail in them. So those it's really kind of probably best, or you could use spray ink or a, um, a brush to get all the detail. I want to grab some white paint and I think I want to kind of keep this monotone. So I think what we're going to do is take some, this is just craft paint, some white and like a drop of this brown color. Um, this is called Asphaltum. These are both deco art. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, deco art, Americana craft paints. <laughs> uh, I don't always know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And I'm just gonna, I just wanna make the paint, the white more of an off white, yeah? And when you're, you know, doing proper, proper stenciling, you really, it's about having hardly any paint on the brush. And then I'm just kind of barely touching it to the page. I like to add things in uneven numbers um, to my work. I think it's more interesting. It's been a, another weird day. I don't know. Is it possible to have like a whole month that's like a full moon? I don't, I don't know. It's a weird, weird month. But I've already gotten the mail and I've done uh, quite a, a few things. I'm going to let this dry for a minute and um, then I'm going to do some journaling on here. But this page is, I think, just about done. I'm really liking kind of the use. As one of uh, my followers said, I think on Facebook, they're loving the use of negative space. I don't disagree with them. I love that too. So, but I do want to add a little bit of journaling. It's not quite done yet. So I'm going to dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's dry. I'm going to pull over my chair. Okay, and I think I'm going to just use black pen I did clear out my pens 
and things and rearrange my desk a bit so I could find stuff. I have this Pilot uh, like fabric pen. I might use that. I do like just a plain Bic crystal pen. It's one of my favorite things. Let me see if this one's dried out. I do have an idea of what I wanted to say, which just kind of came to me um, actually early this morning when I was um, chatting with my dear friend Cindy Utter. We were discussing the, the design team for my uh, product line. And if you haven't applied yet for the design team and you're thinking about it, what's, what are you waiting for? <laughs> do it now. Um, okay, so. I'm going to just write messily. Now, if you're doing a page like this and you're worried about the stickers at some point coming off, then either when you have the page completely done or after you get everything on here that's not water soluble, uh, put a coat of um, gel medium on here or gesso and then add your other things on top of it. That'll seal your stickers into the page. I'm not super worried about it, but if you are, you should definitely do that. And what this says is, I have love in my mind, dreams in my heart, and beauty in my soul. That's what that says. <laughs> Just FYI. All right, I'm going to take some ink, um, which I just found my acrylic inks via my cleaning process I've been doing lately. This is an um, FW Pearlescent Liquid Acrylic, and this is color... I don't know. It's a blue green color. Does it say? Oops. I almost dropped it because I'm doing this left handed. Mm. Waterfall green. It does say, but it's really print <laughs> printed really teeny. So it's waterfall green. It's this really pretty turquoisey green color, which I thought would look nice on here. So we just need kind of a little bit. And these inks have not been opened for a while. Oh, I guess we're not using that one. It's all dried up. Do you see that? <laughs> oh, it's very dry. Okay, we're not using that one. Let's try a different color. Let's see. Um, hmm. I like the idea of putting a pearlescent one on there, but maybe we'll go with this one. This one does have some in it, <laughs> and it is magenta, sundown magenta. That's too bad. I kind of liked the idea of having a blue on there. Maybe I still need a blue. I have this other blue. Yeah, maybe it'll work better even. This is... Sun up blue. One of the things I'm trying to do lately is purge. <laughs> so and I've been on a purging kick for a while. To, so to some of you, you'll go, okay, yeah, and you've been doing that for a while. Um, and you're not wrong. I have. But what I'm trying to do is Whittle down my art supplies. I know that's probably like a sin somewhere. To just the ones that I truly love. To get rid of the fluff. And if I have something that has dried up or I've used all of it. To really think of it carefully before I just automatically go replace it. Do I really need it? This Obviously I didn't use this. It completely is dry in there. There was some in there but it's just completely dry. And 
you know, it's not just having about having a ton of stuff that helps you be creative. It's about just having some special things. You don't need, you know, every single, you know, color of golden fluid acrylic in order to create a nice painting. Um, so, and what you do have, uh, I'm encouraging those that I know to play with it for a week. And then after the week, if you are still on the fence about it and you're not sure you like it, maybe it needs to move on to a new home. All right, I'm gonna just splatter some. It's not quite wet enough, I don't think. There we go. So that's one of kind of one of my new things that I'm doing right now is just and you know the things that I am getting rid of I'm donating to charity um, I am sending off to friends that I know can use them and it, that in some cases are doing charitable things with them so yeah I just I want to give back but I also need I don't need so much stuff I love that I don't know why I like I'm really into these paintings or pages that don't have the whole page completely filled. That's really kind of my thing right now. Um, yeah, I'm so happy with this. And I'm looking up at my shelf and there is a, you know, I have a few quotes just hanging here because I wasn't sure why they were out and I was being lazy about putting them away and maybe some of them were out because they need to be on this page. <laughs> All right, so sometimes things happen for a reason. So let's grab some scissors. And... Yep. And I'm just going to trim it. into. It's a long quote but uh, or phrase. I'm going to trim it into three sections. And first we're going to try to dry some of this. Actually, instead of drying it, I could do this the easy way. Where's my ha? Yoo-hoo! Don't you just love a good old stick of yoo-hoo? A scrap piece of paper out of the trash can. So this is the last day of the week for this vlog and the week has been a weird interesting strange one um you know i mean i'm still breathing i'm still around thankfully not everybody has been so lucky uh, recently and there's a lot of people out there suffering and i really feel bad for them there's been bad news in my circle of people that i know and you know life goes on despite all of that so um it just makes me want to enjoy my life more fully because I am so blessed. And that includes with art and other things. I love that. Where memories and dreams merge. I, it's a great page. All right. Um, fabulous. <laughs> I have lots of stuff on my desk. I have... Um, I said that already, I know. <laughs> I do want to share with you all here on the um, vlog. I do have another um, batch of stencils that came in. My, Mike Deacon helps me manufacture my stencils, for those of you who don't know. If you don't know who Mike is, he's a fabulous, great guy, and I'll send you over to his YouTube channel. Um, he, he sent me another postcard with my um, order. And don't you just love this? And here's some, a sneak preview of some of the new stencil designs that are going to be coming out probably not before December, but they may not come out officially until January. And I love these. These all just literally came in. These are my prototypes. And um, I have to now clean out my stencil storage binder because it's now a disaster <laughs> and my dad just sent me some more metal shapes I'll get these for you 
he just cut, look at this one. He just cut me some more metal and we're gonna be offering some of these, I think in the Etsy shop. I'm just not sure how to do that. Um, so we may have like just random grab bags of pieces. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do this. So um, anyway, um, yeah, I love this big feather piece. He did a bunch of alphabet letters. He did, I think this might be like a lawnmower blade or something. It's a flower. Isn't that cute? So I'm not sure how I'm going to list these yet, but I am. Um, yeah, that's cool. So yeah. Um, I might just do them individually. I don't know yet. And I have no idea how much they're going to be. If you're interested in one of them. Uh, email me. My email's in the video description. I think that's it for right now. So think about going forward and look at those supplies you have in your art room that you maybe have a really lot of and yet you hardly ever use. I want you to pull them out. I want you to play with them every day for at least a week. After that time, I want you to decide, do you really want to keep them going forward or do they really need to unclutter your space and your creative inspiration and move on to a new home. We all have stuff like that, myself included, and I am in the process of just lightening the load, so to speak. So anyway, that's it for right now. I want you all to have a great day. I want check out the video description, if you would, while you're here for any relevant links. And uh, don't forget to play and then purge if you're so inspired. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Okay, that's it for now. Bye, guys.